Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Kansas Flamingo Chef, and today we're going to make a Mediterranean classic, true comfort food from the uh, Lebanese culture. And what we're doing is something called green beans and meat. Yeah, it's, it's literally as simple as it sounds. I'm going to start this. I'm using a London broil. Uh, this is just the, uh, the top of the round. Any lean piece of work, we're just going to cut this into small strips. We'll do that first. I've got a medium onion, which I'm going to chop up. I've got green beans in a can. Now, I've got three cans opened and drained. I'll probably wind up using four. I have another one set back. I've got two cans whole tomatoes. And these are the larger cans. Uh, and I'm going to leave the juice on those. I've got some garlic butter. You could use just regular butter. You could also use olive oil. That's fine. I like the garlic butter just to add a little flavor. I am going to use some minced garlic. I've got salt and pepper and garlic in a blend, but you could use just salt and pepper, whatever you like. You're going to need some Greek seasoning. Now you can use Cavender's, which is my personal favorite, or if you'd like a little more of the traditional chopped up the, uh, the Greek blends like this from McCormick work just fine. And then the most important part of all of this, cinnamon. Yes, that's what gives this its very unique flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up the meat and the onion. There's no reason for you to watch me do that, and we'll get started. So I've cut the meat, so you can see, into strips about like that. You know, and they're not going to be perfectly uniform. But about a quarter inch thick and I've trimmed the fat as much as I can out of that meat. As far as the onion, I've diced it very small and used about half of the onion. Uh, I'm steaming some rice while we're doing this because it's going to get served over rice. Let's get our pan started, get this at medium high and uh, heat up some fat. In this case, butter with garlic and parmesan. I've got about a tablespoon of my garlic butter in there. I'm going to drop in the half of the chopped onion and I'm using the yellow onion but you could use a white onion that would be fine and I'm going to start working these onions down a little bit until they start to clarify and on that I'm going to add some Greek seasoning across the bottom of the pan again I'm using the Cavenders I'm going to use the equivalent of about two teaspoons and work that in with that butter and onion And as those onions start to clarify just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic, about a teaspoon. Which is the equivalent of about you know, one and a half cloves. You could use a little more if you wanted to, but that's really probably enough. We're really, at this point, we're basically just seasoning the bottom of the pan. I'm going to let that warm for just a moment as those onions saute, and then we'll add the meat. So once your garlic and butter and spice mixture starts to saute and sizzle, I'm going to go ahead and put our meat in there. And as we do that, we're going to add some salt and pepper. In this case, I'm using a blend of salt and pepper and garlic. A couple of teaspoons. Mix that together. Now the key here is we want to keep turning this meat as it browns, but we don't want to brown it 100%. We're also going to start our first dose of cinnamon. And there is no such thing as too much cinnamon on this dish. I'm going to use a lot. I'm going to start out with a little. The cinnamon will actually bring in the flavor that we're looking for on this, and it is a very unique flavor that makes it kind of exotic. That's the idea. Now we're going to turn this heat up a little bit, let this meat brown for a few minutes. Again, just kind of cooking all those elements into it, and then we'll start adding the tomatoes. As you can see, that meat started to get some nice color. You might have noticed I put on some gloves because... There are a lot of ways you could do this next part, but I prefer to do it by hand. We're just going to dump in a can of tomatoes, sauce and all, and then just very carefully 
so you don't make a giant miss. Kind of separate these tomatoes. Now, if you would rather use stewed tomatoes for this, that's fine. These just happen to work better as far as I'm concerned. Plus, I need the juice for the broth. And I'm going to do this with both cans of tomatoes. Okay, both cans of tomatoes are in. I was successful in not wearing them. And now we're just going to kind of roll this together a little bit. Okay. Add a little more cinnamon. And then put in the beans. And again, I've drained these so there's no water in these cans. Stir that in. And just kind of mix all this together. Okay. I'm going to top this with a little Greek seasoning. I'm going to use the leaf seasoning, the McCormick. And a little more salt and pepper because the beans are going to need some salt. And a little more cinnamon. Again, on this dish, cinnamon is what makes it. So don't be afraid to put the cinnamon in it. I'm going to cover this, turn the heat to medium, let it cook, and stir it every so often for about the next 30 minutes. So as you can see, it's at a nice boil. It's been cooking for a few minutes. I've taken the cover off so it will reduce. And uh, we're just going to let this start to thicken up some. The meat is going to soften up in that process as well. In the event that it gets too thick, Always have a little water sitting by the side. You can just let this cook for a while and just continue to cook and get that meat completely broken down. The longer it cooks, the better. So that's been cooking for about 30 minutes. But it's a little... It's thick. It's at the thickness I want. But the meat's not quite as tender as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to add about 8 ounces of water. And just kind of mix that in. Make sure it breaks everything off the bottom of the pan. And let it cook the water off for about another oh, 10, 15 minutes or so. And it'll be ready to go. So I just took it off the heat. Looks absolutely amazing. The meat is nice and soft. You can cook it longer and add a little more water if you want it even softer. But I'm ready to eat. Let's plate. This plating is going to be very simple. I'm going to take some white rice. You could use brown rice if you prefer. I'm just going to get a nice scoop of that right there. And just kind of mesh it around. And I'm going to get some of the really good stuff here. Make sure we get some of that juice. There it is. Mediterranean style Lebanese beans and meat, whatever you want to call it. I'm calling it dinner. If there's a dish you'd like me to cook, questions you want to ask about food or beverage, just shoot me an email. Bill at KansasFlamingoChef.com. Visit the website Kansas Flamingo Chef. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Eat fabulous and I'll see you soon.